Hey everyone, it's Kristen from Quebeca, and in this video, I'll show you how to access extended font characters in Silhouette Mint Studio. I have the design view open in Mint Studio, which is the software that you use to design stamps for the Silhouette Mint. And the font that we're going to be using today is the SoFancy font, which is an exclusive font that is currently being offered for free over on the SoFancy site. I'll include a link to where you can download this font in the description area below the video. You wanna make sure that you've already installed the font that you wanna work with before going any further. I've already installed this font on my computer and I'll click the icon with the letter A and a cursor from the left menu to open up the text style menu. Then I'll type so fancy into the input area in the text panel to highlight it in the font list dropdown area. I'll leave the text size at 36 points. We can always adjust that later if we need to. And I'll click onto the artboard and type the word save, since we're going to be designing a save the date stamp. So when you're using fonts and programs like Silhouette Studio, Cricut Design Space, or Mint Studio like we're using here, you have access to all of the default characters, lowercase a to z, uppercase a to z, numbers, punctuation, etc. But there are so many fonts, including the so fancy font that we're using, that include many additional characters and glyphs beyond this. These can include multiple variations of characters, for example, two different lowercase a's and or two different uppercase s's, as well as character variations with beautiful flourished endings and special glyphs for non-English alphabets. Extended characters can also include ligatures, which are two or more letters that are designed as a single glyph for better visual appeal. Each of these types of extended characters adds visual appeal and a more hand-lettered custom look to your finished design. So of course we wanna be able to access these options. Let's go back to the word save in our stamp design to see how we can do this. I'm on a PC and I'll be using the character map to access the extended characters. If you're on a Mac, you'll wanna use an app called Fontbook, which allows you to install and manage fonts on a Mac. To access the character map, I'll go over to the lower left of my screen and click on the Windows icon. Then I'll just start typing character map and you can see that character map will pop up under the best match results. We'll click on that and the character map window will open. Then we want to open the font list dropdown, scroll down, and choose the font that we want to see the extended characters for. In this case, so fancy. The so Fancy font has a very clean and organized character map, and we can actually see the extended characters along with the default characters right in this screen. But this is not always the case with fonts. If you can't initially see those extended characters in the character map, or if the character map is kind of jumbled and you wanna be able to see just extended characters, here's what you'll do. First, make sure that the advanced view checkbox is checked so you can see the extended menu options for the character map. Next, go to the Group By dropdown and choose Unicode Subrange. When you do that, a Group By box will pop up, and you'll scroll down in that box and choose Private Use Characters. After you do this, you'll see a character map of just the extended characters that are included in the font that you're using. I really like the flourished alternative capital letter S in this font, so I'll click on that to highlight it so we can see it a little bit larger. Then we wanna go down to the Select Characters to Copy area and click the Select button, followed by the Copy button. Then we'll click back over to Mint Studio and double click on the text area to activate it. I'll click into the text box after the letter S to move the active cursor there, and I'll click and drag to highlight the letter. Finally, I'll press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste the alternate S that we copied from the character map earlier. And there we go. You can repeat this process as many times as you'd like. I'm also going to replace the letter E in the word save with the flourished lowercase e that's available as an extended character. To do this, I'll go up to the character that I want to use next, click to highlight it, and then click the select, then copy buttons again before going back over to Mint Studio, highlighting the letter that I want to replace, and pressing Ctrl or Command plus V to paste it in place. Next, I'll add the word the in a slightly smaller text size at 28 points, and I'll replace the letter T with another option that's included in the font using the same method that we've used with the character map to this point. Finally, I'll type out the word date at the 36 point text size to match the word save, and head back over to the character map to choose some alternate options. This time, instead of selecting and copying the letters one at a time, I'm going to click to highlight each letter, press the select button, 
and then highlight the next letter that I want to use and press the select button again. I'll repeat this process three times since I'll be replacing three letters and after I'm done I'll press the copy button and this will copy all of the letters. Then I'll go back over to Mint Studio, double click on the word date to activate it, click at the end of the word to move the cursor there, and press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste all of those extended characters into the text box. To move the new characters to where I want them to be, I'll first click and drag to highlight the letter, then press Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it, then Ctrl or Command plus X to delete it. Then I'll move over to the letter that I want to replace, click and drag to highlight it, and press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste it. The process is quicker with the two letter E's because they're right next to each other, so I'll click to move the cursor to after the first E, and then I'll just hit backspace to delete it, and the alternate will already be where I want it to be. For the letter T, I'll repeat the copy, cut, and paste process like we did with the capital D. And now I've replaced everything that I want to in my save the date stamp design. It looks a lot more interesting and elegant with the alternate characters, don't you think? From here, I'll nudge the words around until I like how they look together, and then I can further customize the stamp if I want with the bride and groom's names, the wedding date, whatever I want to add. Then I can print my stamp with the Silhouette Mint machine and make all of the custom stamp save the date envelopes that I want to with it. Before I go, I want to show you an example of something that you might run into with some fonts. I'll be using Medina Script, which has been a pretty popular font recently. I know that this font has extended character options, so I'll go through the same process as we did earlier with the Sofonsi font to open up just the extended character set. But when I do that with this font, you can see that the extended character set is empty. So what's going on? Well, there's something called PUA encoding. PUA stands for Private Use Areas, and PUA encoded fonts allow you to access any special or extended characters included in a font in programs such as Silhouette Studio, Cricut Design Space, and Mint Studio. If you're using a font that is not PUA encoded, you won't be able to access these characters and the character map will be blank like this one is. So if you're going to use a font in Silhouette Studio, Cricut Design Space, Mint Studio, or similar programs, you'll want to make sure that it's PUA encoded before you purchase it. On sites like SoFonsi, this information will often be included in the font description, but on sites like Creative Market that don't cater specifically to crafters, it may not be, and you'll need to contact the seller to double check. Also, if you're using the fonts in programs like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, extended characters will still be accessible even if a font is not PUA encoded since you can access extended characters via built-in menu options in these programs. You can find a list of the fonts and other items that I used in this video in the description area below or in the area below the video if you're watching at kbecca.com. I hope that you found this video to be helpful, and if you'd like to see more Silhouette Mint stamping videos, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll tune in again soon.